I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're gonna be sore. Bigby, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fabletown physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <clears throat> Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. I can't take it easy. I have to... I have to find Crane. Bigby? What's wrong? Lack of sleep for one thing. Getting shot for another. He'll be fine. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived. So I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Everything in moderation. And uh, eat more chicken. I'll try to. All right then, very good. Business office. I know, I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White, Big B. So, to recap... Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover it? And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan, currently. But I, I don't know. There's no other leads. This is it. Just wait for the mirror. Yeah. What the hell is going on? Just... I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if... I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but... Do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get it. But do you really think he killed those women? And he sent D and Dumb to slow me down. He's... he was a conniver, a... a coward, a liar, and I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he... held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes... Ow! Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly... I mean, even worse than it did. I just feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah. Time heals everything eventually. At least, I hope so, for her sake. Can I, um, ask you a question? It's kind of personal. And I don't want to offend you. Sure. It's just... When stuff hits the fan, like, like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city, it feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. Because it gives you an excuse to just, you know. So what if I do? You think we're broken or something? Is that it? I don't know. Maybe we're just not cut out for this world. We can't eat each other's hearts anymore, Bigby. This can't be like the old days. We have to make it better. Uh, guys? We have a problem. What is it? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. What do you mean, missing a piece? Yes, it's, uh... Crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I can't believe this. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. Well, the mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. 
We can't depend on the mirror. What exactly is the hard way? We'll look through his things, his desk, everything. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. We can still solve this ourselves. I know never that Never mind that. Come help me look. Hi, Mr. Bigby. I can still help you catch Crane, you know. Oh, yeah? Yes. I saw him jump on the telephone before he left. He called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. His witch? Yes, it sounded like the one he got his snow glamours from. Hmm. Look, uh, the whole mirror thing. It's not your fault, all right? Y you mean it? Yeah. Why didn't you try and stop him? What do you want me to do, yank on his hair? I'm only three feet tall. There are limits here. Okay, okay. You didn't see anything else, did you? No, not, uh, not especially. I'll just see if I can do anything about this. You do that. Bufkin says that he overheard Crane call somebody before he left. Sounds like he's going to see a witch, or his witch. His glamour witch. Wait, really? None of the 13th floor witches would allow that sort of thing. They must be somewhere in the city. It's something, at least. Find anything? No, but there's enough notes and stuff here to take all night. Maybe check that stuff there. Was here. It's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Yeah, I only recently heard about this meeting. Why didn't you mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! And I'm hungover. I'm sorry. He set the meeting at 2 a.m. Tonight. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me I called to... just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? I don't know why Snow told you anything. He and Crane talk all the time, okay? He was a resource, albeit one that turned out to be useless. We hardly talk all the time. Besides, why spend time on such gutter snipe? Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at two o'clock. A.M. or P.M.? A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. Why do you even care about this? Why? I'm invested in this enterprise we call Fable Town. <sighs> Literally invested. Since it's mostly my money that keeps the whole thing running. And tonight I hear that Crane has been killing Fables? And there's no system in place to catch him? Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. 
Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years now. Unofficially is not officially. Snow can obviously handle this, so let's drop it. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. All right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. And that's if he's even going there. We're trusting a monkey's interpretation of a phone call. It's not an interpretation. It's what he said, all right? Yeah, and it's what we have. So let's go on it, okay? Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. That has to be our focus. If Holly has Lily's things, that'd probably be the safer bet. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock! <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. Fine, I don't care. Just go ahead. We can't just let Bluebeard run amok in Crane's place. Ha! He's after something. I just don't know what it is. We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or oh, the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And it's upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Where are you gonna go, Bigby? So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. Crane's place is right here. I should check that out first. Perfect. And I'll go to those two imbeciles' office. Crane's penthouse number is 1903. Let me know what you find. I hope you know what you're doing. <laughs> 